Hi guys, Matt from Haltech here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the typical application of the Elite 950 ECU. So what we have is a 68 Camaro. This has been LS swapped and it's using the Elite 950. One of the questions that we get a lot is, why would I use the 950 over say the 2500 or the 2000 ECU? Well, the 950 is really designed for your primarily street driven vehicles. Now, this setup here, primarily a street car, Sunday driver, occasionally it goes to the track, but it's primarily a street registered, street driven vehicle. You would use a 2000 or a 2500 ECU on more of a track car that spends more of its time on the track than the street, or a newer vehicle that requires a lot more inputs and outputs. But for now, let's pop the hood of this guy and check out what the 950 can control. So when this rolled off the production line in 1968, it would have had an iron block 350 cubic inch sub engine. Now it's running an LS based engine, it's running a turbocharger, and it's putting about 700 horsepower more than the factory ever had. The Elite 950 ECU is running the whole engine here. So it's running the fuel, the ignition, boost control, the fuel pumps, and also the cooling fans. Because it's a 950 ECU, you can run sequential injection across the injectors and wasted spark ignition across all eight coils. Now in this case, we've got the Elite 950 ECU. It's doing boost control based on wheel speed. We've also got uh, an O2 sensor in the exhaust here, so it's actually doing closed loop O2 control with long-term self-learning, that's been switched on. We've got the fans being controlled and also the fuel pump. So the ECU is actually controlling the whole engine package. Now for the installation of this one, we actually used the Elite 950 semi-terminated LS harness. Now this harness carries about 85% of all the terminations you need to make to install the harness into an LS engine. So it's pre-terminated for the fuel, for the ignition, crank sensor, cam sensor, those sorts of things. All you have to do is route the harness through the firewall, connect up the power, the ground, the ignition signal, and you're pretty much ready to go. So this is the sort of application that we think is perfect for the 950 ECU. But don't just take my word for it. I've got Jack here, and Jack actually owns this vehicle. So Jack, come and tell us exactly why you use the Elite 950 ECU for this setup. It's simple, simple okay. system. All right. so. You like it because it's, it's got everything you need and really nothing you don't? Yes. All right, so it's just so some of our guys can get an idea, um, wh why did you build this car? Is, is this a street vehicle? Is it to, to you? Is it street? Is it strip? What's, what's the purpose? It's more street than anything. Occasional okay. to the drag strip. Yep. Uh, I built it with my 14-year-old daughter uh, to have fun. Well, that's cool. Yeah. That's a family project. Yes. Now tell me, just, just out of interest, um, what kind of horsepower do you think it's putting down? Um, it makes 757 on 14 pounds of boost on pump gas. Okay. And 950 on 20 pounds on race gas. Near enough to 1,000 horsepower yes. on race gas. Yes. And you've been to the track with it? Yes. How's it run? Well, it's 582 at 126 and 8. That's moving. Yes. Yeah, okay. Now, I've got one last question. Uh -huh. What do you like the most about the Elite system? I mean, what's your number one sort of takeaway that I really like this system for one major reason. If you were to put one Tr thing on it, what would that be? Trouble free. Okay. Yes. Trouble free. That's a good, that's a good. Yes. I like the sound of that. Yes. Well, Jack, thank you for lending this vehicle to us to do this little bit of a tech article on. We, uh, we really do appreciate it. It's a beautiful piece of machinery and uh, we wish you luck at the track. I'm Matt from Haltech and I'll see you next time.